Welcome to a dream come true, I mind map. One of the important points in structuring a mind map is to have one word per branch. Because if you have one word, that one word with all its associations is free. If you were mind mapping and you wanted to put Tony Buzan, if you put Tony Buzan, you've stuck them together with glue. But if you put Buzan and then Tony, You've got the freedom to radiate out my father, my mother, my brother, the history of the name, etc. So the single word per line gives you much more freedom, much more creativity, much more clarity. It's a vitally important rule. Ideally, the length of the word should be the length of the branch. So the two words are in space, close, i.e. they're connected. Studies at London University showed that people who use colour and image in their imagination when they are learning and trying to remember inevitably do better than those who don't. The research showed that while they were doing that, using image and colour in their minds, far more of the cortex was actually a light. So when you're using a mind map with colour, with images, with the key words, with the organic structure, you're lighting up more of your brain. Linear note-taking is like having this palace, which is the brain, and in the basement there's one dim little light bulb on. When you mind map, pew, the whole palace lights up. Throughout a mind map, there should be key words and key images. The picture is worth a thousand words. So wherever you can get little images, wherever you can underline or emphasize in color, do. Another important reason for having images is that images are fundamentally the way human beings communicate. Leonardo did it. Darwin did it. Beethoven did it. Every genius used image and associations, and the mind map is the process by which you can do that. It's not the word that is important. It's the image that that word conjures up. So essential to use images throughout. And the other advantage of that, of course, is that if you are communicating with people from any other language group, the mind map is actually their language as well. One of the other rules is clarity. So when you are, for example, making your mind map, if the printing is clear, if the structure is beautifully organized, then the whole mind map will be more registerable for you. One of the delights of the, the iMindMap program is that it makes it all clear for you. So you do scruffy writing, it clarifies it for you. So the mind map comes out as a beautifully clear image and is therefore far more powerful as a thinking tool.